So, where to? I told you, your pick. We can either go to Fleetwood or Rosalia. The surrounding area there is really beautiful. Okay, let's go to Fleetwood. Yeah, cool. But let's fill up the tank first. Oh yes, my truck is hungry. Man, that's insane. What a machine. Well, we definitely stand out on the road. In this thing, we would stand out if viewed from outer space. Yeah, we, we definitely owe Clint one. What are the odds that there would be such a vehicle in our area, and of all people, I'd be the one who gets to drive it? Not that small, it seems. My father was speechless when I told him. I promised him photos that we'd show him the truck before we took it back. That shouldn't be a problem. So, what's the story with this truck? How did it end up here? I have no clue. I asked Clint, but he didn't know either. All he mentioned was that it was probably imported in the 80s. But why? We don't know. Who owns it? A former trucker and acquaintance of Clint. He bought it several years back in pretty rough shape, but managed to fix it up. Since then, it's mainly been parked in the garage with his tractors. Tractors? Yeah, apparently the guy's a farmer now. What a shame. This truck should be on display for all to see. <laughs> Just keep driving and enjoy the ride. Thanks a lot, man. Really. It's okay. I hope it gives you some extra motivation. I'm seriously considering it. Looking at you, I can tell you're happy. The money's not bad at all. Driving runs in my blood, and so far I've been lucky enough to come across some very decent people in this business. Plus, I like the dynamic. And what is it that you don't like? I won't lie, maintaining the truck is a hassle. Plus, I'm hardly ever home, and Linda's not very happy about it. Well, I don't have a Linda. That's definitely an advantage. I mean, if you're driving truck. How are you two doing, anyway? At first, she was happy that I finally landed a steady job, and I'm not just sitting around playing Elia and Adam Venture. Me helping out with the bills seemed to please her as well. Uh-huh, and? Linda wants a baby, bro. She wants us to go out with friends more often. Her friends, mostly. To do things together. Well, doing things together isn't so terrible, is it? Yeah, but she turns it into a chore. And if something doesn't go the way she planned, it's always my fault. Don't you want your own offspring? Of course I do, but I also want to drive a little longer, to get a foothold in the profession. But you can't blame her for wanting a baby. I mean... Considering her age, her biological clock is ticking away, my friend. I don't blame her. I'm trying to be there for her whenever I can to help her out. But the truth is, the relationship's grown cold. And it's not just in bed. Ouch, sorry, bro. Yeah, we'll be fine. By the way, a couple of weeks ago I picked up a smoking hot hitchhiker from Clinton. Do you remember her name? <laughs> I don't. Was it Rowdy? No, I don't remember. So, she was a hottie, huh? Oh, she sure was. Legs right up to her neck. She was wearing shorts and a tank top to boot. Absolute knockout. She was good company, too. Have you met anyone recently? No, these days I spend all my time online. I truly envy you for being away from social media and the aimless mouse clicking all day long. Well... I was doing too much gaming before I got this job, but yeah, I still don't care for Instaface or Gepi. Or 
Maybe I'm afraid that I might get into it. Considering my experience with gaming, I know that it's easy for me to get hooked on such things. Do you have your game station? Yeah, but to be honest, I've barely switched it on lately. I spend my downtime listening to music and reading. When were you last at Fleetwood? I can't remember. It's been a while. Same. It was cool when we were kids and my dad used to take us. Yeah, it was magical for me. How's your dad doing? Well, nowadays his walking stick is his best friend. He mostly just watches cricket, so my mom is taking care of pretty much everything around the house and the yard. The woes of old age, I suppose. But they're okay. Holding up. I have mad respect for them. I'd love to be like your folks when I get to their age. Me too. Although my mom is overdoing the prayers to Krishna, she really wants me to find my soulmate. You will, man. Probably soon, too. I notice you barely mention Alice anymore. No need to. I hope she's also doing well and she's happy. Ramby, I can't remember the last time I've seen you gloomy and down. <laughs> That's because normally you're Mr. Doom and Gloom. Just kidding. It's no joke. I'm a fucking loser, I get it. But driving makes me feel, I don't know, free. I get to let my mind roam and for once, I have a sense of belonging. It sounds right and it makes sense. It's in your blood. Yeah, but somehow I had always kept away from trucking. Not because of my father either. It just felt foreign. I guess I had to hit rock bottom first to follow my dad's footsteps. Rock bottom? All right. I know it can always be worse, but two months ago, I was a lame sissy, staying at home all day doing nothing. Oh, come on, you're awesome. And check out the great weather today. Here we are, driving an Indian truck around Fleetwood. It's truly a surreal experience. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Do you want to drive a little? Uh, maybe on the way back. It's not like I haven't driven a truck in the last few months. But not this truck. True. Hello? I'm listening, Mother. How are you, Natty? Are you and Runby having a good time? No, we were hijacked by a pack of feral squirrels. Excuse me? Yup. They've taken us to the nest now, and they want a ransom from you and Rambeer's parents. Huh. Are they at least feeding you? <laughs> Mom, you always find a way to bring food into conversation. And you hardly ever joke with me anymore, so you must be okay. Of course, we're having a great time. We're driving the Indian truck to Fleetwood. What more could one hope for? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Can you come by tonight? I've cooked something very special for you. We'll see. I think I'd rather go home. You know, I have a wife who has probably made me something nice as well. Oh, I doubt it. Mom, I'll come to see you soon. We'll talk later. Okay, looking forward to it. Have fun, sweetheart, and tell Renbeer I said hi. Will do. Bye. My mom says hi. Thanks, how is she? Cooking as usual. I'll go see her soon.
should park over there, okay? Thank you. 